everyone. This is my outfit. You see the shoes? <laughs> yup, yup. I'm all packed for Vegas. <laughs> Hello, this is Nick Floyd at the casino. Welcome back to here. We're eating some breakfast. Look mm. at that. Delicious. And let's go interview some people at the Gay VNs 2024. <laughs> Cody say, uh, oh my god, so fun. I mean, thank you. <laughs> I know it's a fun one, right? My name is Art. Your nickname. Damien Knight, like nighttime. My real name is Jason. My nom de plume is Jake Jackson. My name is Adrian, and I'm a photographer, uh, video Oh, we... I'm Sean Ford. Hi. My name is Miss Errol Sarisha. My name is Trevor Brooks, and I do porn. My name is Swirly, and I'm an adult content creator. Wow. Hi, my name is Jamie, Nick Jamie Sacho. I'm Evan Knox. How are you having fun this like, expo so far? Yes. Okay. It's been really cute. I get to meet really sweet people that uh, I normally just see online, such as yeah. yourself. No, it's good. Yeah, you're even you cute as well. We first met right now. It's just a yeah. pleasure. I would say the worst thing, they're all married. Yeah. They're all wife. Like, you'll, yeah, you'll never have the relationship. Like, you think, oh, maybe this collab, there'll be a spark. You're in Delulu land. You're delusional. Supporting or going against certain causes um, and definitely like getting canceled. Ooh, um, be racist. This is the worst, not the best. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah <laughs> the best thing that you could do as a creator. Yeah. Hmm. I think just really enjoying what you do and like feeling the chemistry between you and your partners because I think it shows yeah. on film. You're not into it. Yeah. When you're not into it, people can tell. One of the best things you can do as a creator, I think, is connecting with other creators. Oh, it's, yeah. it's something that I didn't do for the longest time because like, we all work from home. So. I think the best thing you can do as a performer is be yourself. Try to be as authentic as you can. The worst thing a performer can do is put everything out there in a desire to attain some sort of celebrity or followers or, or make more money. Ultimately, you will lose the mystery that is um, what I believe is the, uh, the sacredness of sex. Best and worst aspects of directing um, best is getting to work with talented models who inspire me. Um, um, one comes to mind, Nick Floyd, I don't know if you've heard of him. Worst thing about it, um, probably carrying all the equipment by myself. <laughs> Worst thing you can do, crash talk other people. <laughs> mindset because I feel like if you feel like you're sexy other it exudes and other people will believe yeah. that but if you are doubting yourself everyone's gonna doubt you and count you out mm. certain studios I feel like there's definitely some studios out there that like they kind of tarnish your reputation <laughs> Don't rush into big collabs first. You kind of want to build a presence of your own so that way people can't try to tie your success and your come up to someone else's, yeah. The worst thing that you can do is treat your fans with no respect and demean them and make them feel bad because your fans make you happy. Yeah. So you gotta give your fans like good energy, good vibes, good luck. Um, one of the best things that you can do is be really positive and never give up because it is a tough industry and if you give up you're never gonna reach your dreams so definitely just stay consistent and just don't give up on yourself i would say the best thing is to learn how to connect with your bands and know what they want to see and like and the worst thing is like well like to scam your fans like it's great guys as a creator, I feel like the best thing is getting to the hot guys that you want and then remembering it because okay. you get to film it. Yeah. Um, the worst is, I feel like the same. <laughs> yeah. The best thing you can do as a creator, I think, is to do something that is original, that looks special, 
my thing when I shoot something, it's always make it special. It's either the lighting is special, the location is special. There's something that's special about the actual what's happening. The worst thing you can do is do bad lighting, bad sound. Right now? Yeah. And what is like the 10 year plan? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Ooh, I see myself still in New York. Okay, okay. Um, probably not doing porn and focusing more on my art. I do illustrations, oh comics. Uh, yeah, I just want to tell my own stories. What's going on in here? In here. Not just what I can do with this body. Exactly. Yeah. So ideally, I would be like Mr. Beast of gay people. Oh my God, I love that. Yeah, what I would love like? to like to have my own reality show that's never came out yet. Is it for gay people? Or yeah, it... okay. for gay people. I don't like the straights. I mean, I love the girls, but yeah. <laughs> some I have some straight friends. Some that's a lie, but still, no, that would be like ideal. Like just making the best videos possible and uh, having my own place and uh, probably have three kids. You want children? Yeah, I mean only like when I'm rich. Okay. So I can like take care of the kids. Yeah. That's really concerned. Because people just like, I just want to pop out a baby right now. No, that's, that's not, not your vibe. Yeah. If like my boyfriend could get pregnant, mm -hmm. I was actually thinking about it recently. I was like <laughs> Like changing sign. <laughs> Impregnating man. No, it was like if my boyfriend like it was a girl, like right. Oh, like would you do it? Yeah, I was like, if we accidentally got baby and like at this point of my life, I would be able to take care of baby. Okay. I'm trying to get my real estate license right now, so I, I hope. I hope I'm a successful real estate agent at some point. Definitely owning land, probably multiple properties by then. I want to own my own shoe company. Yeah. yeah. I want to be an even bigger one than I am now. And I want to be a hot streamer. Yeah, I'm working on that right now. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Um, probably still suck at dick, I hope. <laughs> Same, yeah. I definitely want to be like a little bit more international. Right now, I'm very like based in the US and I've only really seen the US. Very fun. Like Pitbull, Mr. Worldwide, let's go. 305, Miami. Miami. What's your biggest pet peeve about what you do right now? And just the, the dehumanization that comes with it. But I mean, you signed up for it also. It's but um, just because you see someone having sex on the internet does not mean you can approach them automatically in a sexual oh. manner. Oh like, my god, yeah. But like, don't run up on me and grab my dick out in public just because you saw me on the internet. Like, that happens. I hate er, like really early shoots on set at 8 a.m. Oh, yeah. Douched and ready. Lines I'm like, learned. lines learned. Like, I don't want to be yeah. at five in the morning douching. Like, it just doesn't I feel think... right to wake up and douche at 5 a.m. <laughs> or when it's cold and you have to like, be naked oh my god i hate when i'm in a cold warehouse and they're like we got a space heater in the corner I'm like that's good for your hamster okay. not me <laughs> your hamster i talked about this but like they used to be called hamsters i am not they used to be Okay, I'm ready for this question because okay. it's been happening a lot here when they don't say hi to you or you like, yeah, or like they pretend like they don't really see you. You know what I mean? And it's like, if I see someone that I know, I am like to you, I went up to you, I was like, you're Nick, boy, like, hi. I don't know what it is, like entitlement or something. I don't know. Like if you see me, just say hi to me, come up to me, grab me, yeah. and interrupt my conversation. I don't give a fuck. Just say hi. Exactly. trash talking the industry um, and it's definitely like there's definitely a time and place to be like yeah he's not great like I've had some really bad experiences with him but then there are also some people that just have nothing good to say about anybody and I think it really doesn't help their reputation what you see as like the best thing for longevity as a creator because you see some people like go super big and then super fall right what do you think is the best to like last the longest if you want to last that long in this career Ooh. 
I think just like taking care of yourself and like oh, yeah. not burning out and like taking breaks and also like give your fans some breaks too. People are going to see you on like, you know, this site, that site, constantly flooding their feeds. Yeah. People can get tired and annoyed and like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, let the fans miss you a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Be a special food. Don't be like, right. Yeah. Fun every day. Yeah, exactly. You can't have mochi for every meal. I wish, but yeah. same. Keeping your creativity alive, for sure. And okay. keeping, you know, you have to figure out why you're doing this, what motivates you, um, setting goals, also, like, taking that time for yourself to recharge, reflect. You have to learn to adapt, you know? Like, I started in the same year, but I still do it. Like, I have to learn how to adapt it. It takes a lot of work. Longevity is definitely like I said, consistency and having a good character, um, being able to treat people with respect and compassion and respecting boundaries and making good connections in the industry because it's a very people-based industry, so you don't want to make too many enemies. you got to be really professional. Like. Pace yourself. A lot of people can get burnt out, it seems like. You know what I mean? This, it can be like a pretty fast mm -hmm. life. I would say presence. Because presence brings the greatest following. But it's not about like competing with others either, because then that will lead you down the wrong path. Because right. I feel like as, as soon as you start competing with other people, you're already in a negative mind frame. Do you know what I mean? Do you recommend this job to people? When someone says they want to do porn, or someone reaches out to yeah. me and says, I want to do porn, I will go through the process of being just really honest and being like, these are all the things that you can expect. And are you prepared for that? And ultimately, um, for me, it's always like, if I want to work with someone, it's like, you have to be able to be out with what you're doing and honest, at least with your family. And there has to be, you have to start it completely, fully in an honest space because people will find out and people that you don't want to know or expect that they would know. Well, I think it's definitely a specific job. And I think if you want to do it, you kind of have to be all in and know that this is going to be around forever. You know, some people don't care about it and some people want um, this to lead to something else. And um, sometimes that something else has uh, is not as open or accepting of this kind of work. So and one final like silly question I've been asking everyone and it's like explain upon it. What utensil would you be in? Why? <laughs> Utensil? Yeah. Um, what are the what are the ones called where it has like the fork and the spoon? A spork. A spork, yeah. Why? Because I'm burst. Classic answer. Yeah. Ooh. Uh not to sound stereotypical. <laughs> okay. <yeah. laughs> but chopsticks, just because they are burst icons. I mean you could do a lot with them. You really can. Yeah. I mean, beyond food, you could also put them in your hair. You could use them to accessory. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You could tie a plant to it, a plant stem, so they stand up straight. Weapon. Yeah, a weapon. Weapon. I'd say a whisk. It, why? Because you can do a lot with a whisk. You can. You can do a lot. You elevate situations. Yeah, you can, make a lot of, you can make a lot of baked goods with a whisk. Yeah. Souffles. Like, like if someone answers wrong, you're gonna just be something for it. Like, um, you give me for it. No. Um, those like the 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 little lemon squeezers. Okay. The, yeah, a little juicer. Why? <laughs> I feel like squeezing the juice out of people. I Probably uh, a pair of tongs because I'm pretty um, I'm pretty controlling. I have control issues, so I think I would just be like, "You're mine. Yeah, yeah. Get over here." An ice cream scooper. Uh, the ones that heat up the ice cream are just like. No, those those ones where it goes scoop and then you like click and, and it comes off. Explain why. I love ice cream. That's a good reason. Yeah. No. Simple, I mean, I would you know? be like happy every day. 
Like, on an Indian New Year's Eve. Boom. Yeah. It's, what were you? Steak knife. <laughs> you know, I don't even know what it says about you if you're like a spork. Yes. Or like a knife. Like, are you aggressive? Like, what's up with that? Yeah, I'm very curious. Like, sports, yeah. I'm like, mm, you really don't know what you want to be, huh? I want to be a sport. Okay. Because, like, you can just work right up off of me. Or, if you don't do it right, I mean, I want to be like the artist that's aloof that comes out once a year for like a collection, okay. but goes insane for most of the year to create it. Like that's my ideal situation. Okay, you can live in Connecticut and like. We love it. Thank you so much. Please, I'm gonna make sure to tell my subscribers to <laughs> fuck this hoe. Don't subscribe to him. Like, no, block him. Video, That'd like, be funny. Wait, oh my God. You fucking edit it. You do the match. All right, should we hug? Or... If you want, make it awkward. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Ha ha ha!